Hello and welcome to the 3D Training Institute's Quick Start Series. This video is for 3D Studio Max, so if you are a beginner, these videos will help you decide if you want to learn this powerful tool. This project will take you through a step-by-step -step process including modeling, materials, and rendering to create a 3D project. So if you enjoy this software and you're interested in professional training in this field, then head over to 3dtraining.com and sign up for a free one-hour intro class for more information about our services. And remember, we here at the 3D Training Institute are here to support you in achieving your goals in the 3D field. Over the next hour, we're going to take you on a little bit of a journey into the world of 3D and have you create a logo much like you see on my screen of your very own. This is a very powerful skill to have as many 3D modelers start out designing logos for local companies or institutions in their neighborhoods. Many of you may have friends or relatives and they may benefit from having a 3D interpretation of their logo. Like any good project, we're going to start off fairly simple with just the modeling phase. And in the modeling phase, we're going to start by drawing out the different shapes of our object. So you can see I have just a rectangle for the eye there, and I have a, a heart shape for the heart, obviously. And we're actually going to use fonts and the text tool within 3D Studio Max to accomplish this. Then we're going to move along and jump on over to extruding those objects to give them depth and then also beveling them to create nice edges for the light to catch when we do render the model that we've created. Next we're going to head over to the wonderful land of materials. So we're going to start to add color and reflection and some highlights to our logos. We're going to be using Max's robust slate material editor to do this and the mental ray rendering system which allows for photorealistic materials to be created fairly easily. And next we're going to go ahead and create a simple ground plane for our 3D objects to sit on. And this will just kind of recap the creation method and then creating a new material for the object and assigning the material and uh, quickly giving ourselves a, a nice preview render of where we are so far in our progress. And next we're going to move on to the lighting phase and this is where we really give depth to the project and we can start to use a lot of Max's robust lighting tools to create different color lights, different intensities, play with the shadows to create nice soft shadows as you can see in the preview render here and uh, really add some dynamics to our scene. And then beyond that, we're going to go ahead and start to do what's called three-point lighting. So we're going to add a couple more lights. We're going to add a fill light, which is not going to necessarily add a lot of light to our objects, but it's just going to fill in the darker areas of our scene. And then we're going to add a backlight here, and we're going to color it red uh, to add a nice little interest area to our rendering. And then finally, we'll wrap things up with some render setup. Um, we'll talk about how to change the output size to HGTV, and also how to tweak some of the render settings within Mental Ray. So this should be a fun and exciting project, especially for those of you who are new to the software. And uh, with that, let's get our feet wet and uh, start on the project.